Welcome to our presentation for the paper titled CND APR, a scene level freehand drawing data set for web based psychological drawing assessment. I'm Bi Kyung Yang from Sungkyunkwan University, who make a presentation. Sketch based drawing assessments are useful in understanding individual psychological states, such as cognitive impairment or mental disorders. Therefore, the drawing assessments are widely used as supportive tools to initially evaluate an individual's psychological state, especially in large-scale settings such as schools and workplaces. However, interpreting a large number of drawing assessments relies on a human effort, requiring much time and cost. To develop a deep learning model for addressing these challenges, high quality data sets need to be available as a foundation. Therefore, we propose a new CN level freehand drawing data set called CND APR, specifically designed for analyzing psychological drawing assessment. Unlike previous data set biased toward adults, our data set is first data set with age diversity ranging from children to seniors and also provide about 1.4 thousand scene level sketches with segmentation labels and sequential information. Among the various psychological drawing assessment, we focused on, oh, it said I, my mic is muted. Oh, okay. It's okay, okay, okay. Uh, among the various psychological drawing assessment, we focused on draw a person in the rain test called the APR assessment. During the assessment, participants are asked to draw a person in the rain. The sketches are then analyzed by a human expert, such as a therapist. In the DAPR assessment scale, stress-related objects like rain and cloud indicate the perceived level of stress, and resource-related objects like umbrella symbolize coping abilities of, against stress. As a result, we can evaluate how individuals cope with stress through this assessment. To collect diverse sketches that can be used for DAPR assessment, we employ two approaches reconstructing existing sketches and collecting new sketches. First, for reconstructing existing sketches, we gather publicly aware of drawings from our therapy literature. We reproduce them by tracing the sketches through a digital drawing tool and a tablet with a stylus pen since the obtained sketch does not contain sequential information of strokes. By adding a layer, Five annotators trace them exactly the same. We then develop a web-based drawing collection system to collect new sketches. Participants were initially required to provide consent for the usage of their drawings and accompanying metadata upon entering the system via a tablet. Subsequently, participants were instructed to create a freehand drawings using a stylus pen with the following guideline, draw a person or people in the rain. Then the individuals chose to draw in this page. Following the drawing task, participants were requested to complete a survey that included a brief description of their drawings. Using this tool, we collected new sketches through multiple channels. Snowboard sampling recruitment, collaborating with local schools, selling of offline booths, and outsourcing to survey agency. After collecting the data, we performed an object detection segmentation for each object category. Initially, 11 researchers grouped strokes for each object and labeled the corresponding object names. If the object name is difficult to identify, the annotators discussed and finalized their decision. Also, by cross-checking its sketch, we validate the quality of our dataset. Based on the constructed dataset, we analyze stroke patterns and consent to see if and how drawing styles differ from the age groups. The results reveal distinct characteristics from various age groups, especially among seniors. 
The sketches from the senior group tend to show fewer and short, shorter strokes as well as a small number of objects across all categories compared to other groups. This aspect can be confirmed visually through this figure. We also compare our data set with existing scene level sketch data set such as Sketch Coco, FS Coco, and SFSD. There are mainly three challenges in existing data set to apply them to a psychological driving assessment. First, the existing scene level sketch data set are distinct from real world freehand drawings. For example, Sketchy Coco has been generated automatically using object level freehand drawing data sets. These approaches contribute to obtaining a substantial, of, substantial number of scene level sketches, but can be limited to ensuring the desirable level of abstraction for confronting real world freehand drawings. Second, existing data sets are drawn based on reference images by including employing cross-dressed workers. This restricts the creative expression of participants in terms of objects they can draw and how they can arrange, arrange them on the canvas. Lastly, these data sets are predominantly involved adult contributors with limited engaged from diverse age groups. For instance, the age group uh, workers in FS Coco spans from 22 to 44. This demographic bias presents a challenge in attempting to interpret sketches produced by individuals from minority age. Unlike previous data set with the aforementioned limitations, CINDA peer clearly demonstrates its excellence by fulfilling not only artist creativity, but also age diversity. With the SIN DAPR data cell, we propose a web-based DAPR assessment system. This system follows the actual art therapy practice, focusing on two main steps, detecting objects in sketches and scoring the DAPR assessment. The first step is identifying the six representative DAPR objects using a sketch of the detection model. For developing robust model, we synthesize the image by employing sketch augmentation technique. Based on this data set, Yellow VA showed the best performance in detecting a sketch objects among the various baseline models. Also, we investigate the effect of age bias data set on model performance. Overall, the performance of age biases data set are lower than those the balanced data set across the age groups. This suggests that the biased data set, which does not include a specific population, can cause potential risk. After identifying object in a sketch, we calculate a DAPR score based on the assessment scale. The scoring model for calculating its score is divided in types such as frequency, distance, and area according to the description of each, each scale. And we adopted the method proposed in our previous paper, ARPA DAPR, as it is. Finally, the DAPR score is obtained by subtracting the stress index from resource index. To verify whether this system operates correctly, we compare the DAPR score calculated by human expert with those automatically obtained by our proposed system. The interclass correlation coefficients between the human and our system are 0.75 and 0.77 for each expert group, which show good agreement. This highlights the potential of applying deep learning models in assessing DAPR drawings. In sum, we highlight the contribution of our paper as follows. First, to the best of our knowledge, SIN DAPR is the first publicly available data set of SIN level stroke based freehand drawings created by individuals of diverse ages. Second, we develop a web based drawing assessment system, which consists of sketch object detection and DAPR assessment scoring using the proposed data set. 
Human evaluation demonstrates a reasonable level of our proposed system trained using CNDAPR. This highlights that the proposed new sketch data set can be used to develop an automatic system for all therapy. Also, such a system can support human experts by reducing the time and cost associated with analyzing human drawings. In fact, we conducted a user study in prior work and confirmed a high intention to use among the art therapists. If you're interested, please feel free to check out the paper via the QR code below. However, there are some limitations of our paper. First, we focus on six representatives representative object categories that are mostly analyzed in the DAPR assessment. Second, we categorized the participants into three age groups and collected data based on the groups. However, users of our data set should keep in mind that we might have missed potential drawing patterns that could not be captured under the criteria. Lastly, since there are currently no existing scene level sketch data set that encompass age diversity. However, scene level scene DAPR may not fully capture the diversity of cultural background, which can affect drawing styles and object perceptions. Thank you for listening to our presentation.